Well, hello and welcome to this guided meditation for the spring equinox of 2024 or the autumn equinox if you're in the southern hemisphere. And this is the day, or well, equinox literally means equal day and night, where the sun is over the equator and in the northern hemisphere as of tomorrow or the 21st of March, the equinox is actually on the 20th of March, that depends when, when you're watching this video. Um, so from the 21st of March until sometime in September, the days will be longer than the nights. So it's still very cold here and I've got two jumpers on and my heating on. But there we go. Never mind. At least it's going to be lighter. Um, and I, with all the flowers and the blossoms that are coming out everywhere, it's like the world is, is coming back to life, coming out of its hibernation period. And so are we, you know. I feel more energised when I wake up, it's light in the mornings and I feel more ready to get out of bed and, and to start the day. So in this guided meditation, we are just going to hold that in, in your awareness, that moving from darkness to light. And that's like the spiritual journey as well, that we are as we as we meditate and we become more aware and we heal and which makes us become kinder more more con compassionate we're moving away from the darker parts of ourselves and that's not to say that we ignore them and try and push them aside but it, it's as we shine the light onto the whole of ourselves then obviously the darkness disappears once we shine light on it, just as what is happening in, in the world. So, um, if you're not already in a comfortable position, I do recommend that you pause the video, set yourself up. You might want to light a candle, some incense. I've got my, it's a plant actually, my poinsettia. Still looking lovely. I've had that since before Christmas. It's still lovely and red and um and my little buddha rupa there as well but whatever inspires you it's it's nice to have something that that feels sacred and special to you and on my table here where i've got my my laptop i've got crystals around here as well and my singing bowl so things that i love things that that bring me joy so um when you're ready and you're in a comfortable position, I'm just going to slightly adjust my meditation position because I felt it like flipping backwards a bit. <laughs> so it's good to have a, a strong, solid base. And um, oh, and while you're here, please, if you haven't already, do subscribe to my channel, hit the notification button, and um, let's spread the benefit. Of meditation to more people. So take a couple of deep breaths. Just calm, feeling calm and still. And then if you if you wish, you can close your eyes. Just have a stop a soft focus in front of you. As we sit here, allow a sense of calm and stillness to wash over your body. Letting all the cares and the worries of the day 
slide off like water off a duck's back and let them slide down and become absorbed into the earth. Leaving you to feel freer and lighter. Just being aware of any thoughts, not trying to push them away, but also not getting caught up in the stories, just noticing anything that's trying to take you away from the present moment. And as you just sit, allowing the body to relax, relaxing any areas, tension, and if they creep back in. Just relaxing them again. All the while, just breathing and just allowing the cares and worries to continue to roll off and down into the earth. And you don't have to rush this process. And as you let go of cares and worries, feel your body becoming lighter as we move from the darker days into the lighter ones. And we sit in that liminal space between the seasons, moving from winter into spring as we start to flower and blossom, just like the plants around us. We can also think of ourselves as becoming older and wiser, like trees, putting down deeper, stronger roots. And 
becoming less affected by things that happen around us. Things that are mostly out of our control. And just breathe all that away now. Allowing that sense of peace and joy to permeate every, every cell of your body. Relaxing. Letting go. Feeling the light, feeling your body as we move to lighter, longer days. Shedding layers, both literally and metaphorically. If you like, you can imagine yourself like a bud opening gradually, letting the petals unfurl until you release your full magnificence and beauty to the world without even needing to do anything. Just letting your brilliance radiate out. And the day came when the risk it took to remain tight in the bud was more painful than the risk it took to blossom. Every time you sit down and meditate, you're blossoming just a little bit more, like a lotus flower, 
one petal at a time. Thank you for joining me today. And if you're interested, that quote, and the day came when the risk it took to remain tight in the bud was more painful than the risk it took to blossom, is a quote by Anais Nin. And I first heard that from one of my um, favourite meditation teachers, Paramananda, I've been on several of his retreats and his book, A Deeper Beauty, was actually the first book that I read on meditation way back in about, I think that was about 2007. And, and it, I was, it was in the library in our Buddhist group and I just was drawn to it because it's got a lovely purple cover and I'll, I'll share a link to it in the, in the, in the description below. And there's lots of poetry and stuff in that as well. And I think that's the thing with, with um, modern meditation mindfulness. It's become quite um, more clinical, hasn't it? OK, yeah, we do have the science to back it up. But also it's important to remember it's a spiritual practice as well. And though poetry is it, it reaches a part of us that the logical mind never can. So, um do you know enjoy the rest of your day go out connect with nature maybe the sun will come out who knows if not you know go out in the rain <laughs> and um and just appreciate being alive and i will see you again very soon and in the meantime take care go well and lots of love bye